One of the most common questions I get is someone asking why they can't lose weight even though they are eating the right number of calories for them. To which I might reply, how confident are you that you are tracking accurately? Now almost every time I am reassured that they are tracking perfectly. The digital scales they use are so precise they could weigh a grain of sand to 10 decimal places and nothing goes in their mouths without them putting out my fitness pal. Giggity. So I'm going to address this topic and I really, really want it to sink in. So I'm going to go in hard, I'm going to go in raw, and I'm going to go in dry. If someone tells me they are 100% sure they are tracking 100% accurately 100% of the time, this does not reassure me. If anything, it raises concern. Why? Because very simply, people don't tend to track perfectly. I mean, if for no other reason than the fact that there is natural variance in the food that you're eating, so even the label has margin of error. Misreporting food intake is so common, I'm gonna throw just a few fast examples at you. One meta-analysis of 34 different papers on obese individuals described consistent under-reporting. Subjects who reportedly couldn't lose weight on 1,200 calories per day were actually under-reporting how much they ate by 47% and over-reporting how much physical activity they did by 51%. Calorie under-reporting is so common that researchers have even tried to see if financial incentive improved accuracy. And they even deemed that a failure. Even when people thought that researchers could verify their reports, they still only marginally improved their accuracy. And finally, just to really try and hammer this home, in a head-to-head -head study of untrained people and qualified dietitians, even the dietitians underreported their calorie intake by an average of 223 calories per day. So in short, you can tell someone that you're going to verify their food report, and you can even offer them financial incentive for being accurate, and you still can't guarantee their accuracy. If actual dietitians can't be 100% accurate, it seems absolutely insane that people expect your average Joe to track perfectly. So I propose removing the stigma of misreporting food intake. It isn't a taboo subject, it's just everyone seems to do it, yet no one seems to like admitting to it. If everyone was aware that there was a potentially large margin of error when they were tracking food, it would potentially educate them and empower them to make more sensible decisions. Because at the moment, what we have is people not getting the results they expect and immediately assuming it's because something is wrong with their own physiology. Whereas in reality, they probably just aren't tracking what they eat accurately or tracking how much they move accurately.